Has this ever happened to you? You're getting ready to leave the RV park when all of a sudden, oh no, what's going on? You think about it and you figure out, how are we gonna take care of this? Ain't nobody got time for that. You pump and you blow and you blow and then you pump a little more and then you blow a little more and then again it's back to that pump but nothing works. There's got to be a better way. Okay, okay, okay. I realized that was a little much. We actually do not need some crazy infomercial to talk about the Via Air compressors, which is what I want to do today. But it is a super important topic because your tires are what gets you from point A to point B. And if they're improperly inflated, you could run into issues uh, up to and including blowouts, which are never any good to anybody. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about tire pressure itself, and then we'll get this bad boy opened and get it checked out. One of the mistakes I see a lot of people make is they read the tire pressure on the side of their tire. They get that cold rating pressure and they just fill their tire right to the max. And that is not always the case. Although I did find out today that on Vic and Tammy's big Super C, that the weight rating on the sidewall is almost exactly what they put in the tire. So the 120 PSI rating is actually 110 on the front of theirs and 120 on the rear. So we're gonna take a quick look at the sidewall of my tires and then we'll talk about the calculations that the manufacturers use to get you the exact weight rating for your vehicle. So let's take a look at that now. We're gonna come in here on the tire and we're gonna turn this so it fits the camera better. And you can see here it says max load single and it shows 120 psi cold max load dual and it shows 120 psi cold but it shows a weight rating there and so we're going to do some simple math with this weight rating and show you approximately how the manufacturer gets your your psi rating for your particular tire so as so. you see on the sidewall of our tires it actually shows the cold rating, the max cold pressure at 120 PSI. That is not what we set our tires to. We go off of the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure and we get that on the driver's side wall on the inside of our coach. It might be different in your coach or you may be able to get it from your coach's manufacturer's model guide. Either way, you wanna get your tire pressure from your manufacturer rating not exactly from your sidewall because they may be different. And as you can see in ours, it is 80 PSI all the way around, both on the front singles and on the rear duals. So we actually run a little bit more in the rear and the exact amount in the front. And I'll talk about that here in just a second when we get inside of my computer. On our motorhome, the recommended tire pressures are on the sidewall right next to the driver's side seat. Your motorhome may have it in a different spot, and if you're looking at a car, truck, or SUV, you'll most likely find it on the driver's side door, and you can definitely find them in the owner's manual for that particular vehicle. If we just go off the sidewall of our tire, it would recommend 120 PSI, but as you remember, the inside showed that we should only have 80 pounds per square inch per tire. Now again, the single tire shows 5,070 pounds at 120 and the dual tire shows 4,850 pounds at 120. If you look at the axle rating, our front axle is rated at 7,000 pounds or 3,500 per tire and the rear is 13,500 on the axle or 3,375 pounds per tire. Once we have all these numbers, we can see that the tires can actually handle more than the axle weight rating. So it's 69% of 120 pounds is what we need and that's approximately 82.8 pounds. They go 80 pounds all the way around, which works for me. They know more than I do. Now that we've looked at the manufacturer's recommendations, you've got that and you need to get your tires pumped up. One of the things you need to do is you need to have a compressor with you. And we highly recommend carrying something with you. Now, if you have a diesel pusher, some of the diesel pushers don't require it, but if you don't have that onboard air for your vehicle, the Via Air is a great way to go ahead and get that done. So we're gonna get this open, take a look at it, and we're gonna talk about the differences, differences between the one we have now and the one that we used to have and how they work for the different types of RVs that are out there. So this is the Via Air bag. All one nice little package so you can carry all of your tire inflation needs in one spot. They have the side compartment here, which carries your hoses. 
and I haven't even opened this up yet. Gives you plenty of hose, and we'll talk about how you can make even uh, more accessible by adding extra electrical lines to your compressor because you do operate this off of 12 volts, which is pretty handy because most vehicles are gonna have 12 volts. So pretty decent sized line to begin with to get you front to back. And then you have the compressor itself. Well, let me go into the front bag here. Talk about more, it's what's in there. I have even more line. I didn't know that there was two in here, so this is really handy. So you've got plenty of line inside of this unit. It's an unboxing, folks. I didn't go through this stuff prior to taking a look at this. The compressor itself is nice and compact. We'll be able to get rid of this stuff here and get this compressor out and have a look at this bad boy. Pretty sexy, isn't it? That's it. That is your compressor. That's all you need. You have your 12 volt line. This particular line hooks up to a battery. I add a different connector so that I can plug it into the side of the coach where I have my solar connector. So where I used to have a solar panel that went straight to the batteries, I now use that connector as a terminal for this. This here just hooks up to a battery terminal. So if you've got a car or truck, maybe you wanna carry it in your tow vehicle or you wanna carry it in the vehicle that you're towing. Your gauges and your handle. This is what really differentiates this from the smaller RV compressor because the other one I have did not have this type of gauge and this type of air chuck and so it made getting to the inner duals really hard. This allows you to reach way into inner duals or use it as a as a pull to get to other types of, of um, valves on, on different types of tires. So this is kind of nice. The air gauge is built right in which is kind of cool and it's just a, a trigger to allow you to, to get air into the tire. It also comes with some extra filters and things like that because there is an air filter inside of the, the compressor itself so you can change out the air filters that are in here and keep your compressor running, running really well. Even with as much as I've used this, I haven't had to change the filters out in this so they should last you a super long time. Shouldn't have a problem with that. You do have to add your filters your filter holder to the compressor. So I recommend putting a little bit of tape on the threads, a little bit of thread tape on there so that uh, you don't have any air leakage. And I highly recommend that you have this stuff ready before you do camera. But uh, just put a, a couple of wraps around the, around the threads on this. Drop that on there. This will come out and then you just thread your filter onto the front. This here unscrews and your filter is in behind there. Perfect. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna hook the new one to the battery so that you can see it's quick and easy. It doesn't take a lot to do that. Red's going to positive, black's going to negative. Always make sure that your battery connections are done right before you set up. If it's not, you'll find out in a hurry. So it's as simple as dropping your negative connection on there first. Then you drop your positive connection on. And you can hear the compressor has already kicked on. It's probably gonna run for a second and then it will turn off. So now it's just waiting for, for us to go ahead and fill up the tire. We're gonna demonstrate quickly how to use the air chuck to get air in the tires. I think most people have used a air compressor and an air chuck before to do this, but it's for those of you who may not have done it before and it'll be your first time. Let's do this. So this just pulls back. You can use one hand to pull it back. It's gonna take a little bit to put this in because it's got pressure on it now. So you'll hear it. And once it's in, it'll go on. Now, it's easier to do that if you don't have air already in there. So I recommend really putting this on before you start the compressor up so that it's a little bit easier to do that. And after you've done it a few times, it'll be really easy. Now, I have the caps on the tire for the tire minder. So we're going to pull those off 
you can hear a little bit of air escaping and I'm going to try to do this without dropping it down in there which is really annoying but then it's a matter of just dropping this on here and you can check your air right now we're at just under 90 and we want to be at 90 you just squeeze the trigger and we're at 90 I'm gonna to go to 92 because I know when I screw this cap on that I'm gonna lose a little bit of air. That's it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Then you're gonna put your tire cap back on, whether it be a, a tire minder or easy tire, or whatever it is, or maybe you just got regular valve caps, uh, put those back on and you're good to go. The Via Air makes it super easy to do this while you're on the road. Before we wrap up, let's go over a few specs of this amazing tool. And this particular one, the 450P, is for larger Class A's. I believe they have a 300P and a 350P and maybe a 400P. I don't know for sure. If I am wrong on that, I'll put that somewhere here in the video, but I'm pretty sure they have all of those. They're all RV specific, but the 300 and 350P are for the smaller RVs, like I said, a towable or something like that. I uh, work great for class B's, cars, trucks, motorcycles, things like that. Now this particular one will fill up to 40 inch tires and up to 150 PSI is the, the max, I believe. So it says on the box, yes. And the automatic start and stop is really kind of nice as well. So the thing just doesn't constantly run all the time. It'll get you more than enough air. You can do all of the tires on your vehicle and this thing isn't gonna tire out because it does have a 100% duty cycle as well, which means that it, it can run for a long period of time before it gets hot and needs to take a rest. As I mentioned before, this also comes with the accessory pack here that uh, allows you to attach other uh, filling things. It's got a ball attachment and a couple other little small fillers to fill up other inflatables whether you have beach balls or kayaks or I don't know what you guys are inflating I don't judge so that's all on you but it does have the ability to blow up other stuff that is the 450p via air works fantastic for more information on the via air 450p and other compressors the links are in the description below